Well, your luck wasn't so good, was it? That's quite the hand, but not for the game we're playing. I'm afraid you owe me. Your life, sure. But more than that, your labor. You see, this land is built on stories. It's one big story, this country, woven of many small ones. Few of the small ones are strictly true, and the big story is mostly a lie. All the stories and songs and myths and legends start somewhere, with a seed. As they're told and retold and passed around, they grow and change to become the stories we know. To pay your debt to me, you'll be carrying stories, finding the seeds first and then spreading them, telling them onwards so they can begin gaining strength. This is no light task. Stories are heavy. Most of the stories you'll find will be small seeds. They might be true, but they grow wild and unbelievable with the telling. The more important stories are the true ones, the ones people will tell you about their own lives. Those often get lost in the weaves of the big story. The more true stories you can find and tell, the more you can weave that truth into the big story. Tarnish it a bit, perhaps, but isn't a dingy and battered truth better than a shining lie? Now, go ahead. You tell me a story. I'll trade you some information about your task. Is it sad? All these people searching for paradise? Hoping it's somewhere here on Earth? I don't think so. I think it's glorious that they have such hope. And I think maybe they could build the promised land right here, if they realized. But then, I'm an optimist. The true stories are rarely happy. Most of the people you meet on the road aren't there for pleasure. Yes, this country is built from stories. Paul Bunyan, John Henry, Coyote, Stacoli, hell, even George Washington. They're all just pieces passed along and grown into the foundation of this land. Maybe not the purple mountains or the amber waves of grain, but the important part of America. After all, this land was made for you and me, and it was made by you and me, telling each other who we are over and over again. Love stories will come up from time to time, but a good love story is rare. And the ones you do find, don't expect them all to warm your heart. True love isn't always true. You met my family. They're yours now, I suppose. Who do you think we were playing with? They're an odd lot, but whose family isn't? What happens from here? You travel, you wander and explore. You have small adventures and gather stories from them. Tell those stories to others, spread them wide, and try to find the travelers who will share their lives with you. You're starting to forget who you are and where you came from, yes because you're not really a person anymore. You're a personification. You could introduce yourself as folklore, I suppose, although it'll get you some odd looks. Ah, 
I'm not in charge. I operate around the edges, always hunted. To be honest, I'm not sure anyone is in charge. Travel? That's your job. Wander from place to place, gather those stories and spread them. People get bored hearing the same stories over and over. But an old cliché in one state might be a rip-roaring new yarn in another. You sometimes have to make choices about what kind of story you're finding. Is it a love story or a tragedy? Don't gather too many of one kind, though. This grand story needs variety. If you see enough of a person, you might get a peek at their true selves. You'll get a memento, something to carry with you and help you on your way. When your bindle is full of these, your task will be done and your debt repaid. Return to me then, and you can go on your way. Although I suggest you avoid card games with strangers in the future. You feel trapped, enslaved even. Yes, I suppose you have to do what I ask. But you did bet your freedom. And as much as we here love to talk about our freedom, bondage is the real foundation of this country. Your deepest desires, your greatest wish, heaven, Big Rock Candy Mountain, El Dorado, the promised land, that place just over the ridge where they all say that the water tastes just like the sweetest wine. Well, I don't know where that is. It's supposed to be somewhere in this country. Ask the people you meet. They're all searching for the same thing. You think I cheated? Well... You don't have to trust me, granted, but stories are important. And more to the point, what choice do you have? It's just luck. Funny how bad luck seems to follow the folks who already have problems aplenty. Well, try your luck out there in this country. See how the dice treat you. It's not all bad. You'll have to work hard. But I'll give you the gift for seeing the true shapes of people. Not many who can do that. I'll strip away your flesh to make the journey easier. But still you will feel pain. Hunger. Weariness, thirst, and despair. They're all part of stories, a part not often told. And death, yes, but don't worry. As long as your task remains, you come back. Go on your way, seeker. Maybe we'll meet again, or maybe not. Either way, it'll be an experience for you. I'm jealous in some ways. I hope you find what you're looking for.